So you might be getting this type of error code, which basically tells you that your integrity could not be verified on your iPhone or you're unable to install a certain app on your iPhone. Now this completely depends on what type of application you're installing. If you're sideloading an application like that you found online, really the only way to fix this is by going through and making your way over into your settings application, tapping on your general option right here, scrolling down until you find something that says like VPN and device management, which is right here and finding that profile that you just installed and seeing if there's a way for you to go through and basically enable that profile. For a lot of people, that's kind of the main thing you can do here that might end up fixing it for a lot of people, but that might not end up fixing it for everybody. The main way to go, you know, go through and fix this problem is by going through and reinstalling that application or waiting for that developer to re-sign that app. A lot of the times that's probably all you're going to have to do. And that's probably what I'd recommend doing for you in this particular situation as well. So. At the core, that's the main way to go and fix that issue, but there could be another way to fix this as well. If you're a developer, right? If you're a developer and you make applications and you're getting these types of you know, issues and pop-ups for your own apps, this may mean that you either have to re-sign your profile or this may mean you may have to deploy the application again and again, you know, sign that profile for yourself and maybe the expiration of that profile happen. So if you don't go through and you know, re-sign that particular application using your computer every once in a while, this may not end up working for you. You may end up getting that pop-up. So you're going to have to go on your computer and you're going to have to go through and basically enable that, you know, basically resign those apps on your own Apple ID. And that will end up fixing the problem for you for the most part. So those are the main ways to go and fix it. You can also try updating your iPhone. So try going into your settings application here, then clicking on general, clicking on software update and try updating your iPhone. That's another thing you can try doing as well. But those are kind of the main ways to go and fix it for the most part. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.